It's been a few years since I bought a brand new 40k kit, but this one I just couldn't resist. Stay tuned. The very first army I ever started collecting for Warhammer was just like many other people before me, was a Space Marine army. Um, especially the Ultramarines, I really wanted to go further with them, even to the point where I bought the Marnius Calgar big chunk of metal model a few years back. But once I went to the fantasy side, I kind of drifted away from 40k a good bit, but that Space Marine, Ultramarine army always had a spot in my heart because everyone's first army does. But when this box came out, the Triumvirate of the Primark, and when I saw it, I just knew I'm going to have to get this box eventually. Especially since it's the Primark of the Ultramarines. I had used my Element Games voucher to get this because my 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 birthday, my birthday had just come up a few weeks ago, um, and I always get everything from Element Games because they are without a doubt the best place to get any Warhammer or hobby stuff because they're so much cheaper so make sure to check out the link below and enough talk let's see what's in this box right so first thing is this box looks amazing they've really gone all out with these special boxes for these special releases like this the art well it's not artwork but the models and the and the on the cover and the front are really nice looking but it's the back that really shines i think um it's just a really nice display of everything that's in the box you have robo gilliman grandmaster valdis and cypher and um, it's just a design of it it looks really nice very eye pleasing it has like all these little bits of information it has your pants here as well really nice looking box um, certainly a fancy box for some new fancy models now it isn't very straightforward to try and get out um, and there's no plastic wrapping on this which is kind of a new thing they're doing um, and then whoa again on the inside it's even a more fancier box a really really nice picture and then finally we get to the, to the proper part of the inside. So we have our Gathering Storm um, instruction book. Pretty straightforward. It has the rules here as well for Robo Gilliman. 350 points. I don't know what this is like in the new 8 edition now. I, well, is it 8 edition that's out now? I can't remember. But there is rules here. Rules for Cypher and Grandmaster Volus as well. Um, and not really a kind of like a, like a paint. Well, it says paint system, I suppose. Gives you a rundown roughly of what colours to use. And a really nice artwork here as well. This is this picture, if, if you notice in a lot of the, I don't know about the 40k kind of army books, but in the Age of Sigmar stuff, there's kind of like a mixture of these like digital artworks and then, you know, hand-drawn, hand-painted artworks. But the digital ones look really nice. Um... Then you get this little cool, I don't know what you call it, a poster probably. Really nice looking. I showed that to my son and I was like, you want this in your room? He goes, yeah. So it's either going to go in the shed or in the, in his bedroom. I'm not sure yet. And then what what you the most important part of the box is the sprues. Um, so there is, let me guess, Voidus I think. Or maybe that's him, I'm not sure. But uh, the most important guy. Four sprues in the box. Uh, very. It's not that it was a. I was disappointed. It was just. You know. Like that's it. I thought this guy was going to be so much bigger. Now maybe when I put him together. Um, we'll get a proper look at him. But. I just kind of thought he would have been a little bit bigger and what kind of really took me by surprise was uh, if I can find the piece there they are the head let's zoom in. let's have a closer look at the sprue you have the two heads there let me turn them around 
and they are incredibly small they're well not small but they're normal sized um, and it's not that I'm disappointed it's just I just kind of thought he would have been a bit bigger and um, the base is let me check the size on the base I'm pretty sure it's like 60 millimeter maybe uh, 65 millimeter so that's a pretty big base for him um, but all the parts look incredible you can see some of his armor here um, you know it's very hard to it's hard to tell what parts which but that looks like this is part of his backpack which is here oh there we go the wings which look really nice um i think it doesn't show a picture of him in the back yeah there's his backpack there which is really nice looking wings and everything just kind of for show they're not practical wings or anything like that um, then there's all parts of the armor then all around here uh, you get a closer look at the base which is a really nice scenic base um, and of course you get your chaos marine that goes onto that which is a really nice little addition I really like that and um, if you look closely at the base like the more I look at it the more I'm finding like little things uh, like here's some part of an equipment here I'm not sure what it is uh, like bits of pipes and then like here you have like a little wrench a little monkey wrench type of thing and um, little stuff like that is really awesome to find and then of course it wouldn't be a warhammer base without some uh, skulls on it as well here you have the, the kind of the torches that go on I think torches go on the base do they? yeah they go on the base um, you get a closer look at the chaos marine which is really nice looking and then of course you have his bolt guns which I'm not sure what their name is but they go on to his fists and I love that I absolutely well it goes on to one fist but I absolutely love that I love Calgar with his uh, his storm bolters on his, on his big what the hell do you call them power fists and um, that was one of the main things I liked about the Calgar model which is pretty cool um, obviously the way the models are designed now they're not really you know very straightforward so it's kind of hard to tell which part is which obviously you can see parts like the main uh, chest piece for the armor but um, the design so different you know they're not straightforward it is kind of hard to tell so let's have a look on this sprue you can pretty much see what it, you can tell what it is exactly um, if it will focus there we go so you have his kind of a shin part for a shin which is it a shin or maybe it's for his arm because there's a tiny little hole here that I'm not too sure oh no there's a shin that would be a shin there um, there's his leg I love how the leg looks now without any of the arm around it looks like he has like a robot little wooden peg leg or something on that one as well I'd love to build them up without putting the, st the stuff on it and just have them going around with little skinny legs. That'd be pretty funny. Yeah, here's the, the t another part of the shin. So that's not that. I wonder if it's for the forearm. I, I wonder. It probably is for the forearm because now that I think of it. Hmm, I'm looking at the box here and I'm trying to see where could it go in. I don't know. I'll find out when I'm putting it together anyway. Um the big shoulder pad here is really nice looking now you get a better look at this is the I think it says Ultramarines on it oh no Gilliman um, and then of course oh no from this side it looks really bad it's just like a hollow arm looks like a robot arm which is actually pretty cool um, the big kind of power fisted if I can get it there it is the, the hand that he has that's his left hand that has the, the storm bolter in it and then of course his uh, sword there's a name on this sword what is it the emperor's sword is that actually the emperor's sword or is that just a name on it let me know if you guys know but uh that's really nice looking there is only one way to paint it you have to paint it like fire i'd hate to paint that a different color i think the fire just suits it so much and um, i wouldn't want to paint it any other way so i'm gonna have to get practicing on my fire painting um then let's have a look at this guy I'm getting these names mixed up this is 
Grandmaster Valdis. So this guy is, he looks like he's part of the Grey Knights, which is pretty cool. I've never had any Grey Knight models. They're really nice looking though. Um, if this will focus as well, come on. There we go. There we go. Um, one of the things I like about the Gulliman model is he's not... Well, well, look at the picture I'm looking at. I was going to say he's not overly decorative. But he is. He has a lot of gold parts around his armour. But he doesn't have a lot of stuff like hanging out of him. Like you'd see with um, some of the captains. And even with Valdis here. He has a lot of trinkets hanging around him. Stuff hanging around his waist and everything. This little shield thing. Um, but I suppose if you're, one of them out of the tree is going to have that, it's not too bad. I like the back part here, he has like a book um, slung around his shoulder. You have a look at his hammer here, which is really nice. I like that. Um, this is head. Flip that over and have a look at him. Um, and then, kind of the only parts that's left really is... Yes, this is what I was talking about when I say it's really designed differently. Like here's like a shoulder, a part of the torso and a leg. Like it's not just like a body, two legs, two arms and a head anymore. So, so in the bigger pieces, in the bigger kits it's kind of hard to tell which part is which. Until you really put them together. But um, he's looking pretty cool. This guy. Cypher. I don't know who this guy is from. Death Watch or something like that. I'm not too sure. Uh, what's that? What's that Space Marine? Raven Guard, maybe? What's the guys who always wear black? Black Templars, I wonder if it's him. I wonder if he's part of them. I'm not sure. My 40k fluff is practically non-existent. But this guy looks pretty cool. I like his gun. It almost looks like a gun from Fallout 4. Like a scrap-built one. It's really nice looking. Uh, obviously, he's just like a floating head here with a cape. <laughs> Um, but here is the front part of him. Again, he's not overly decorative, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. That's why I like it. Um, but his backpack here with the sword and everything. Is there a name on the sword? No, it just says plasma pistol on the box. But that's really nice. This is this is very similar to the captains or the hero models that came with the Dark Vengeance set. The way the kind of stuff is wrapped around him like that. Um, but I like him. He's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to putting him together. Um, is there much more to him here? I like the... Wait, wait there now. I think I might know who this guy is part of. I can see. Is he like an Inquisitor type of fella? It's a lot of these markings. And, or, maybe. I don't know. The markings kind of look familiar. <gasps> look at the holder for the sword. It has skulls on it. <gasps> That's awesome. That's really awesome. Is that a holder for the sword? Yeah. Oh, that's super cool. I really like that. Um, yeah, so that's it for the box. Such a big box for so little sprues. I mean, like, look at the size of this thing. It's huge. Um, Calgar is down to two sprues. I suppose, like, it's not a huge piece. He's not a huge model. He's not as big as a Varman Lord or any of the bigger kits like that. But it's his, his importance and his, his appearance. His appearance that really uh, caught my eye. Here's the bases. The bases are they're actually three different sizes. I thought uh, Gulliman would have got the bigger base, and then these two would have got uh, two. It looks like 40 millimeter bases. Let's have a look. Yeah, 40 millimeter. This one is probably 32. The 32 looks incredibly small here. Um, but it's a cool box. I will be building these shortly. I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. I really love this piece. I wish that'd give me two so I could split it between me and my son. But I like it. It's awesome. If he really wants it in his bedroom, I'll put it up in his bedroom. Uh, your instruction booklet. Uh, so there's your. That's kind of the box inside of the box. But 
overall, I, this is a box that I don't want to throw out. I don't, I don't want to be throwing out any uh, Warhammer boxes that I collect over the years. I don't know, it just feels bad. But if I threw this one out, I mean, it's just it's too nice looking. I mean, look at that. Maybe if I give Martin the poster and put this one up on the wall. You know, you can easily just separate it there, cut it down, and spread it out. Could work, could work. And then, this this reminds me of DVD, you know you get like special edition DVDs. And you're putting bloody cardboard over the case and it's all annoying to try and open. But if you're going to do a special box, I'm delighted it's for this one. So that is it for the unboxing of this. Uh, the Triumphator of the Primark. I am looking. I am really looking forward to putting these together. I have so many things to do. I put them together. I don't know when I'm going to get the patent. Hopefully sooner than later. But stay tuned for that. Um, obviously I'm going to be starting with Gulliman. I'll build these two and I get around to them eventually. But Gulliman is my priority. He's awesome. He's super cool. I will be building him without the helmet. Um, there, there's the options with the helmet I kind of didn't really talk about that too much I really like the helmet as well but I kind of like it when you can have captains and heroes and everything without their helmet um, but I don't know maybe I'll see what it's like when I put them together so if you guys like this unboxing video make sure to hit the like button and let me know in the comment section below. Have you got any of the other Triumphator? I know there's an Eldar one. And I think the other one is a Chaos one. I'm not too sure. I can't remember. But this is the best one. This is the coolest one to get. I am super happy. Make sure to check out Element Games in the link below. Because I got this for a lot cheaper than it normally goes for. And uh, hit the like button. Comment. Subscribe if you're not already. And once again, thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you guys next time.